Whether he knew who was in there at that time isn't really known for sure. Terry Melcher had lived in this house, and Terry Melcher was producing records. He was involved with Dennis Wilson, and Manson had brought him to Spawn Ranch, where they had recorded some of the group and the family singing and humming and strumming guitars to Manson's songs. But nothing came of that. And whether Charlie decided to seek revenge against Terry Melcher or not isn't really clear. Well, East Coast girls are hit by really dig those stars. In mid May 1968, the Beach Boys drummer and poster boy for Surf and Summer, Dennis Wilson was driving his silver Ferrari GTB on California's Pacific Coast Highway. The young and reckless go-getter of LA's Sunset Strip and sunny beaches noticed two young girls hitching at the side of the road. Instinctively, Dennis pulled over and let the girls in, for the rock star had an affinity to exploit his fame in exchange for drugs and one-night stands. The girls introduced themselves under the aliases of Yeller Stone and Marnie Reeves. As they sat in the back seat, the two curiously giggled and flirted with Wilson, but never missing the opportunity to talk about a prophet they referred to as the soul, Charlie Manson, a musician of great power and talent. But little did Dennis know about the girls whom he had just picked up, one of them being Patricia Krenwinkel, college dropout, a one-time Manson family member, and soon-to-be convicted murderer. Pretty girl, pretty, pretty girl. Cease to exist, just come and say you love me. I'm your kind, oh, your kind, I can see. Charlie ended up on the Beach Boys record because he wrote a song called Cease to Exist. Dennis took that to the rest of the Beach Boys and they rewrote it as a song that came out on the 2020 album called Never Learn Not to Love. They changed a lot of the lyrics around, which really, really upset Charlie. Charlie was, word is your bond. That's why I moved in with Dennis. You owe me. You won't pay me on one level, boop. I'll sneak you on another level. In other words, you're going to pay me sooner or later because I'm that guy. After this, Dennis was avoiding Charlie, basically. The myth runs that, that Terry had promised this contract to Charlie and that um, he had not come through with it. And the story went that when that happened, he then went looking for Melcher. And that was when he discovered the Tate people in there and murdered them instead of Melcher. I had a thousand dreams like sharp knives on sewing machines and my mind just raced away. 